Hey, what's up guys? Joker here, and I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be kicking off the week with a couple of news stories in the world of tech and PC gaming. First up, we're going to be talking about NVIDIA's upcoming lineup of GPUs, Ampere, as well as the possible next-gen, even beyond that, Hopper GPUs, which are said to now be in production with a big order coming into TSMC. Also, we've got a new free content patch for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is bringing in a ton of new content. And also, we're going to talk about Call of Duty Modern Warfare and what new stuff you can expect to see in this week's update. But first, today's video is brought to you by MMORC.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro, which you can get for just $15, as well as Office 2019 Pro and Office 365. And if you act right now, you can get an additional 27% off with my code JOK27 at checkout, and that'll knock the price down on Windows 10 Pro from $15.29 all the way down to $11.16. And of course, they accept a wide variety of payment from PayPal to credit cards to Bitcoin. So be sure to act now and hit up the links down in the description below. So first up, we'll kick things off with NVIDIA, which is probably the reason most of you guys clicked on this video. And the current rumor coming in from DigiTimes is that NVIDIA has placed a huge order with TSMC for their seven nanometer GPUs, which we're expecting to see announced and revealed at GTC 2020, which is happening on May the 14th. So not that much longer from now, we're expected to see the huge Ampere reveal. Honestly, I'm not really expecting to see um, the actual like consumer level graphics cards at GTC. I don't think we'll be seeing those until summer, but I do think we're going to get a look at things like their D DGX and uh, type of systems and stuff like that and really get the architecture reveal for Ampere and maybe talk about some of the technology that's going to be introduced to that and maybe the improvements from touring, but it does seem like NVIDIA is already moving into the early stages of production. As this rumor is reporting, they're getting the seven nanometer GPUs from TSMC. Now, there was also some speculation that their upcoming Hopper GPUs, which we're expecting to be on five nanometer, would be coming from Samsung. However, um, people that are closer to the matter believe that they'll actually be getting their five nanometer GPUs from TSMC as well. And sticking with them. Now, why is it a good sign that this early, you know, demand of getting these GPUs from TSMC, why is that really relevant? Well, it's a good sign that we'll probably see these cards by the end of 2020, which we were already uh, kind of hoping for and expecting, but seeing it moving, uh, you know, to this level this early on is a good sign that we'll probably see them in Q3 or Q4 of this year and with everything that's going on in the world right now, you know, seeing this is definitely a good sign, uh, you know, for people that are hoping to see Ampere GPUs inside of their desktop PCs by the end of the year. So it seems like everything is, you know, moving ahead despite what's happening right now. So NVIDIA seems to be on top of it. And between now and May the 14th, I'm sure we'll get some more leaks, rumors and information. And of course I will keep you guys apprised of that. Next up, I wanted to talk about Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, who had an update released for it, which is adding in a host of new content, things like a new Game Plus mode, which it previously did not have. Also, the Meditation Training, which is kind of like uh, arena combat mode where you can go in and fight against waves of enemies and different boss types. So that's cool. That's going to add a bunch of new additional content to the game. It's not obviously not story driven content, but you can access it within uh, playing through on the single player and you can go into this meditation and do these different training levels So that's kind of cool. I've always enjoyed that when they've included stuff like that in games It gives you a reason to keep on uh, kind of playing after you've already beaten the game If you're not into doing just the new game plus which is called new journey plus this time And they've also added in some new accessibility improvements Which is definitely going to help improve the quality of life in star wars jedi fallen order those accessibility improvements include the ability to skip the button mashing quick time events that have been in the game since it's come out. And some people may love them or they may hate them, but now you can go ahead and skip through those. Players can also disable the requirement for holding down the climb button, which I'm sure is going to be welcome for some of you if you're still playing Jedi Fallen Order or haven't played it yet. And once it does become, once you do, if you do decide to pick it up at some point, which you should, it's, it was a great game. Um, definitely something that'll, you know, streamline the process of playing the game uh, quite a bit. And the team has also added in a text size scaling feature for the game. 
So that's all the content that has been added into this new update. This is completely free. It's available now. And I think the meditation training or the arena battles is really going to be um, the, probably the most exciting thing to come out of this as it will give me a reason to hop back onto the game and give it a try. Last and certainly not least for all of you Modern Warfare fans out there, if you're with me and still playing the Modern Warfare 2019 game, uh, which I've absolutely been loving since it came out. Obviously, I've mentioned that quite a few times on the channel, did a full review on it, like a, like a six, a three month later review and everything, which not many of you got to check out because it was posted right after my channel got hacked back in February and everything. So views weren't really where they should have been, um, but I'm still playing it and it's still getting, you know, weekly updates and, you know, modes and weapons and all that stuff added into the game, which definitely keeps me wanting to come back and keep playing it. And the new update, which should go live at some point today is going to be bringing in some more content as well. One of the most anticipated ones is the demolition mode, which has been in classicer, uh, classicer. Is it, can you say that? no? Just in older uh, Call of Duty titles, I remember Modern Warfare 2. That was actually my favorite mode. It's basically search and destroy, except you can respawn, which I always enjoyed. It's I can you know get in there, like put like tack insertions, and you know try to plant the bombs and stuff. And I I really enjoyed that mode. I was actually really good at playing the objective on demolition. So I'll certainly be checking that out. Uh, once it does drop in this week's update, we're also going to be getting a shipment 24 seven playlist, which is nice to see. Although I honestly prefer the shoot the ship playlist where I could play shipment as well as shoot house and work on getting my weapon challenges and things like that done to unlock camos and do my missions and everything. I just find them to be a lot more easier to do in shoot house uh, and shipment. And, you know, some are better in one mode or the other. If, like if it's just get 200 kills with a certain weapon attachment, like, yeah, just throw me into shipment because I'm probably going to get 75 kills a match anyway. Whereas shoot house is like good for doing like some, some other assignments. Um, you know, like RPG kills is pretty easy in there and stuff like that. Um, and then plunder blood money is coming back to war zone guns, a blazing bundle, which is, has the mace operator in it is going to be there. If you're into buying the DLC operators, which personally I'm not also the anime, Ex anime express bundle and some work and, and more content, which is just what call of duty's listed this and more so we'll have to wait and see what end more actually is but of this the thing i'm most excited about is the demolition mode coming back as i have not played it in years honestly as lost interest with call of duty franchise quite some time ago and it's only been in the newest game where i've really gotten fired back into the franchise and i'm curious to see how the demolition mode plays out in the new title but let me know your thoughts on today's video i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and enjoy the rest of my day i hope you guys have a good one if you enjoyed this video throw a thumbs up on it leave me a comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one